The body of 22-year-old Riley Strain, who went missing in Nashville two whole weeks ago, has finally been found, bringing this tragic saga to a conclusion. Riley's body was found in the Cumberland River Friday morning by Metropolitan Police in Nashville. The exact circumstances of how he was found, who found him, uh, how and what state the body was in, unclear at this point, but they've confirmed his ID. They say this is Riley. They've notified the family. Uh, and an autopsy is pending. One thing police are saying at this point is that there's no sign of foul play, no sign of trauma. On its face, this appears to be somewhat of a natural death. Riley has been missing since March 8th, when he went missing in downtown Nashville after getting separated from his friends, after getting kicked out of Luke Bryan's bar. They say that he was acting rowdy, that he was violating their conduct policies, that he appeared really inebriated, and they asked him to leave. Uh, his friends did not go with him that night. Riley ended up wandering off by himself, uh, his friends say that they told them that he would meet them at the hotel. He never turned up at the hotel. Surveillance video showed Riley that night wandering the streets alone, kind of aimlessly, at times looking very inebriated, looking somewhat intoxicated, at other times looking coherent, looking okay. There was body cam video from a police officer who interacted with Riley as Riley passed by, and on its face, Riley looked okay in that video. So a little bit of a mystery in what state he was actually in. There were eyewitnesses who told local media that they saw Riley by the river that night and his bank card was even found along the riverbank as well. Uh, police have been scouring the Cumberland River for several days now. His family has been on the scene. They've been calling for more resources, more help in tracking down Riley. They even brought in a private Navy to look for Riley and now Riley's finally been found. There's more investigation to do in terms of how he ended up in the river, under what circumstances, etc. But now we know Riley Strain has sadly passed away, and it brings the story to its end, sadly.